All right, we play a little game of if you only knew. What's the biggest risk you ever took? Leaving Tyler Perry at, at the top of... <laughs> the current uh, risk. Yeah, at the top of my game and, and going out on this venture. Who's a person from history, a story you'd like to see portrayed on screen? I'd love to... I, I'd have to say a uh, huge fan of Tito Puentes. And, um, I do. Obvi- I haven't, but I, I know so much about him and just a huge fan. I'd love to really get into... You know what deep. I was thinking of? What's that? You could also do a story. It's never been done, to my knowledge about an evil guy, Franco. Interesting. Generalissimo Franco of Spain. Yeah, I know the name. Spanish Civil War fought about him. Interesting. Dictator, pro-Hitler. Yep, yep. Think about that. Good spin. Best piece of advice you ever got? Believe in yourself. Worst piece of advice you ever got? So many. (laughs) You don't want to be a security guy. Yeah, 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 good. What is something people get wrong about people who head studios? That we don't care enough in the content that's being created. And I think all studio heads and studio executives, they, you know, they're trying to create the best content. Obviously, you know, it's got to do well at the box office and on screen. But um, they really work hard to you know, package the content in the best way that, you know, for the viewers and for the audience. Is that built based on history, the bad history of things about Samuel Goldwyn or Louis D. Mayer or the Warner Brothers? You know, I think there's a lot of good and bad from history. I think we can learn from a lot of that. Project you're proudest of thus far in your career? Being Tyler's assistant because I think being a really good assistant allowed him to see things in me that maybe I didn't even know that I had in me and from promoting me from assistant to the number one guy in his organization. What's your favorite memory about working for him? His spontaneity with his comedy and his creativeness. You know, being on set and having him, you know, directing something that he wrote and thinking maybe I can tweak that a little bit more and the way he... he, you know, gives the actors direction and notes, um, and seeing him just off the cuff so quickly because he owns his content, his stories. He he knows them so well. They're so personal to him in in some way through friends, family, things you know, creative ideas he's come up with. But he's so in tune with how he writes and why he writes what he writes that he owns it. He owns the material, and he's just he. I mean, he he. He, he's got it. He knows where he's going before it's even done. What's your favorite thing to do on a day off? Spend time with my kids and my family. Best boss you ever had. Was Tyler the best? Tyler Perry. And I've worked S- for some good ones. Someone dead or alive you'd like to take to lunch? Hank Aaron. Huge baseball fan. Oh, I um, knew him well. A- Hank he's still fan. around? Why don't you invite him? He's in Atlanta, isn't he? He is. He actually came to the studio, Tyler Perry Studios opening that Tyler had when he first opened the doors. Great guy. Hammer and Hank. Yeah, he was the man. You're bit, who you root for, the Braves? The Braves. Huge Braves fan. Dodgers. Dodgers are my second. Guilty pleasure. Sweets. Last good movie you saw. Aquaman. I hear it's terrific. Amazing. I mean, it was just powerful on so many levels. Green Book. Yeah. Best TV or film pitch you ever heard? Well, it's uh, it's one I can't comment on now because we're actually developing it. Oh, oh, but good it is move. awesome. It really? is awesome. It's gonna, it's gonna. Are you gonna do it? We are. It's. We feel like it's really gonna change the game a little bit on the content side. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.